Hello guys, how you all doing? Hope you had a good weekend. Um, just want to do this little video. Um, recent figure I picked up came through on Saturday and I ordered it on uh, the previous Monday. So about five days from Hong Kong or uh, might have been China, can't remember. But uh, And this isn't the Hot Toys Scarecrow. This is the alternative uh, Scarecrow very similar to the Hot Toy Scarecrow um, and yeah I mean I don't want this to turn into sort of like a, a, a bashing video because it's um, a knockoff if you like or a, you know the cheaper version and uh, I've just given you a look at it um, and if you're kind of like in the same boat as me um, and never got the Hot Toy Scarecrow because he, he does go for pretty pretty good money now um, he holds he's, he's really held his value and when, when I sort of got back into one six collecting, he, he kind of been and gone. So um, he, yeah, like I say, he goes for pretty pretty good money, and it, it wasn't really what I was prepared to pay. So I was kind of holding out, waiting for a good deal. Um, and it's it's always been one of the villains that, villains that kind of eluded me from the the Nolan uh, trilogy. So glad to pick him up. And like I say, when when when. Uh, this was coming out, I see this was coming out, I mean 75 quid, you know. Uh, doesn't come with a box, um, which is a little bit odd, but that didn't bother me, you know, if it keeps the price down, I'm, I'm you know, happy days for me. Um, and I, I'm impressed with it. Um, one little niggle, which I'll go into in a minute, but um, let's have a little look at him. Now, I've not actually seen the Hot Toys, you know, in front of me. Uh, obviously seen it in pictures and videos and, you know, people's collections. And I've got to say, this looks pretty damn awesome. Obviously, it's got, a, like, a cheaper body than the Hot Toys. Um, but it works, you know, it, it, it articulates all in the right places. And um, I wasn't actually expecting these hands. Like these were like with the Hot Toys figure. You get two sets of hands. You've got like a gripping hand, um, or hands, and you've got these two hands, which are obviously better. And this is where the problem is. Um, with these hands, which are not on the figure when you get it, the holes inside the hands are quite small. In fact, they're quite a lot smaller than the pegs. I couldn't get them on, and I didn't want to get too heavy handed with with the peg because you know being a cheaper body it could snap and um, what I did um, and I've got a feeling they all might be like this I'm not sure because these are probably cast in the you know all, all in the same way um, but what I did I, I heated mine up um, yeah literally, literally just sort of like 20 seconds or so under the tum uh, tumble dryer fucking hell um, hair dryer and um, I, then I, I put a screwdriver inside um, and just literally like twisted the screwdriver just to open the hole a little bit um, and I got mine on uh, you know they're not an, an amazing fit but they fit you know they work and I can pose it so you know for the money I'm, I'm more than happy I think it looks pretty awesome Let's have a little look at him, let's turn him round. And the thing is as well, although you don't get a lot of accessories, I still think you get, well for 75 quid, you get a lot for your money because this, um, you know, straight jacket, it's, it's really well done, it's, it's, it's wide at the bottom as well, so you can pose this, you can get some like pretty funky angles going on. Um, you got some really, really nice weathering, some dirt all, all around the, you know, around the edges. All the tears and the rips, they look kind of natural and just, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. I can't, I can't fault it, especially for the price. I mean, Jesus Christ. And like I said, I've not actually seen the uh, the Hot Toys, but I can, I can sort of obviously give you my thoughts with like other figures I've got in my collection and, you know, this is an absolute bargain. Um, and like I say, it's not about bashing it because it's a cheaper figure and oh you know uh, it's a Hot Toys recast or whatever you know it's subtle that it, it it's an alternative and if you if you you know if you don't want to break the bank and get the Hot Toys one and you do want to pick him up you know it's it, this is it and it's 
it's, it's, a, it's a good deal, it's a good figure. Really cool. Uh, I've been told as well that the straight jacket comes off quite easy, so if you did want to pose him in the suit, um, again, you know, you've got that option as well. So um, I've not actually fiddled with mine, to be fair. I quite like the jacket, so, you know. And he looks great as well. Um, like I say, he was one of the villains I really did want to pick up because I do like the Scarecrow and I like the look of him. I just didn't want to pay the sort of money they wanted. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've got to get Harvey Dent again. He, again, he goes top, top money, so I'll probably be a kit bash job on that one. Let's have a little look at his sculpt. I don't know if my camera will get in there, but you see the eyes in there, they're really well painted. Got some nice gloss to him as well. Yeah, really happy with this. Um, you know, ticks a lot of boxes and um, you know, came in five days and yeah, well chuffed. So yeah, just thought I'd give you a little look at that one. Um, I do have a pretty awesome piece coming. Um, you know, it's coming from overseas, so I'm a little bit worried and I'm very, very worried about Mr. Customs getting his grubby paws all over it. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna, you know, dent me too much. But hopefully that'll be here in a couple of weeks. That'll probably be my next video, so keep a lookout on that one. And um, I will see you then on that video, probably. So for now, take it easy. Catch you later, guys.